In today's video, I want to talk to you about Google Merchant Center promotions. Um, so these promotions are actually a way for you to indicate to Google and to customers that you have certain sales running. Uh, because let's say you're giving off 10% uh, side wide, but it's not uh, calculated in the, the, your product price. Uh, someone browsing Google um, and looking through the shopping ads won't necessarily notice this. So uh, these promotions and these merchant promotions, as they're called, um, they are a way to indicate to Google and to customers what kind of promotions that you have running. So right now it's Cyber Monday. Uh, so the last couple of days, a lot of brands uh, from Black Friday, Cyber Monday have been running special promotions. So I've been paying attention to what they're doing. Um, but first off, I, I want to show you um, exactly like what that looks like. So here I did a search for lip gloss and here you can see the different shopping ads. Um, and you can see a couple of brands that um, uh, have indicated that they have a lower price like here Glossier. So instead of 14, this is 1050. So that's one kind of promotion. But that's, as I said, indicated into the, the sales price. They're using the sales price attribute. Um, but here below it also says special offer. So if you click that, you will actually see the details of the, um, of the promotion. So here, uh, Glossier has actually set up a 25% of everything promotion. Um, you can see there's no code required. Um, it's automatically applied at checkout. So if I would hit continue to store, I would, um, I would be able to, to grab that, uh, that discount for this specific product or for, for more products. Um, as you can see here, um, you can see here, um, they have the same promotion. So you can actually run promotions for all of your products or run promotions for specific products or run different promotions for different products. You can get um, as complex as you want. Um, usually getting started, it's, it's pretty easy if you have any side-wide discounts. Um, add them to the uh, promotions. Um, here, another advertiser, uh, Bobby Brown. Um, they're doing 30% off site-wide as well. Pretty cool. Um, and here we have another one. Let's look at one last example. Um, from the Honest Company, they're doing a 30% off site-wide and they indicate exclusions apply. Um, and you need the code um, bright30 um, to, uh, to, to get the discount. And they say enter a code at checkout and then it says again expires in two days. So you can see here either you use it, uh, you can set it up um, that people have to use a certain promo code um, to apply for the promotion or not. Um, and also one detail, um, so Google always needs to review the promotions. Um, and as you get started, you will probably run, run into some review problems. Um, but here the, the indication exclusions apply this allows you to, um, to actually say like, okay, I'm doing 30% off site-wide, so it's easier set up, but then you say exclusions apply. And that usually gets through the, uh, the actual the approval process. Okay, so we had a look at these specific promotions. Let's now take a look um, in Google Merchant Center, how we actually need to set up and configure these promotions. So here we're in a Google Merchant Center account overview. Um, and the first thing we need to do is actually opt into the program. So Merchant Promotions is a specific program uh, for specific countries as well. Uh, so the first thing is to go to Growth here, it's like Manage Programs. And here you have an overview of all the programs that are available for you. Um, so here in the case for, it's called Promotions, and you can see it's only available in Australia, Canada, Germany, France, UK, India, and US. Um, and it's been like that for many years. So personally, I have a lot of clients in Belgium and the Netherlands, um, and I see that, that, it, that it works pretty well in the US and that it allows you to communicate stuff that goes on on your website and might be invisible, but we can't use it. Um, good thing is that other advertisers also can't use this, uh, but if you're in one of these countries I mentioned here, um, definitely have a look at them. So. Um, you just need to click enable, then they will start working. Um, then in the marketing section here, you will see promotions, and that's the place where you can actually add um, and change and, and review all of your uh, different promotions. Um, so here you can see I have a promotional life. Um, the title is 20% off on orders over $35. They don't need a promo code. Um, it, there's no product filter. It applies to all products in the United States, in English, and for shopping ads. Um, and then on the right hand side here, you can see actually the status. Um, so 
it, it, once you once you create a new um, a new promotion, it will first be uh, approved policy wise. Um, if you're using like the different ki types of um, um, characters and like a pretty general um, review and you, you will get approved. Um, and then when the start date actually hits, so you can set a start and end date, um, your products will go to a SKU review. Uh, what Google will then actually do is, um, okay, uh, so right now this product is supposed to have, let's say 20% discount. So they will go through the actual checkout or see if it's available on the page to see if this 20% actually applies to this specific product. Um, if it does, they might do a couple of extra checks, uh, but you will get approved and you will see here final state alive. And that means it can show up um, in the ads. Um, how often that shows up, you don't, have, you don't know. Um, it's not a type of an ad extension um, that you have, but simply adding it um, will already make, make your ads jump out. Um, and, and yeah, if, if it's not approved, if, this, if they do this review and it's not approved, you will see here that it's rejected. Um, be sure to here click um, all to see everything that's been reviewed and, and rejected. Um, and then you can actually go in and, and edit it to, to comply to the policies. They, they'll usually tell you pretty well um, if, if you're violating a specific policy or something. Um, usually it's because you're not clear enough uh, in the promotion. Uh, for example, to get these, these, uh, this promotion true, um, I actually said in the beginning 20% off um, on all orders, but then I had configured it in my Shopify backend that it was only for orders over $35. So that they actually found out uh, and disapproved me. Uh, but then I had to be more specific. So you saw the example at the beginning of the video where the, the ad from Honest Company um, had the exclusions uh, apply. Um, so that's here to get through this uh, approval uh, process. Um, so let's take a look at actually uh, what, what is involved in setting this up. So we go here, um, we can add a promotion here. We select a country, let's do one in the US as well. Um, so we're going for English, it's in US dollar. Um, it's gonna be in shopping ads. Uh, and here you can actually select one of the promotion categories. So you can choose to have an amount off, percentage off, uh, we can add a free gift or free shipping. Um, so I'm already doing free shipping. Um, so let's maybe do, um, set up another one, percentage of that will be the most common one. So then uh, within that, those categories, you have different types. So here you can do percentage off, you can do buy quantity of products, get a percentage off, buy quantity and get the same item at a percentage off. So there's, there's with every type, there's a couple of different um, variations, right? Free gift, here's a gift card, free shipping, um, you can define what kind of shipping. Uh, let's, let's keep it simple. Let's do here, okay, buy quantity of products. So people need to purchase, let's say an additional, uh, they need to purchase at least two products and then I'm willing to give them again a 20% off. Uh, in the next step, I need to create a promotion title. So the title is the thing that people will see um, and that Google will kind of review. So I have to say 20% um, off, uh, so, okay, 20% off, um, if you purchase. So this is probably not the most elegant way to, to frame this, but uh, it will do for now. Uh, and then the promotion ID, it's something for you uh, internally. Clients um, or customers better um, won't see this. So um, I will do uh, 20% 20 on Okay, this is again, something I just made up. <laughs> um, and here, this is the important part. Um, there's three options to select which products to apply to, or it applies to all products, or it applies to uh, creating, um, creating, you create a filter here uh, to kind of select which products you want, but there's not that many, uh, many options here. Um, you can, yeah, you could add a, a list here of products but then the third option is the one that actually gives you the most flexibility, but it's also the one that's a bit more, uh, a bit more technical. Um, so if you do this one, um, then Google will actually look through the, the original Google shopping feed, or if you, if you add like a supplemental feed or something uh, with a promotion ID, 
Um, and then it will look through all of the, the product IDs or the, the different products that have this exact promotion ID attached. So um, one product will have one promotion ID um, and that's how they match the two. That's how Google knows which products, uh, which promotions applies to which products. Um, it's a bit more complex, uh, but in many cases, uh, you, you're not gonna run the same promotion for all products. So let's say you're selling a couple of different brands. Uh, maybe you have some brands where there's like a, a, a map policy where there's a minimum price uh, that you can go below and you have to make some exclusions um, or, or do a bit more fancy things. But you can do it the same way. You just list the IDs that you have and then list the, the promotion IDs that you want with them. Um, so you can create a ton of different promotions like this and have them applied to, uh, to different products. Um, next, the promotion code. So if people need to use a code or if it's applied automatically, you don't need to put anything here. Uh, and then you do here a start and end date. Um, so let's say, okay, going from today till end of the week as well. Hit save, I'm gonna click the promotion. Um, and this will actually start the review, right? So you see, uh, on at first glance, policy is reviewed, but now it will actually go through the, the SKU. So it will test on my product, on my page, on my website, um, if this actually matches. Um, if it doesn't, you'll get an email saying that your promotion has been disapproved and you have to come back and, and, and fix this. Um, now, I've shown you what the promotions look like. Uh, I've now shown you how to set them up. Uh, and now I actually wanna take you through something a bit more tactical um, on showing you the, the different kinds of promotions that brands are actually using. Um, like what do you put in your title and, and, and how, do you, how do you think about this? So here I'm in my swipe file of merchant promotions, um, which has like over 120 examples um, of different promotions. So you can always see like the title, as we've seen here, 25% 25, uh, 25 of everything and then Glossier. Uh, and I have a, a ton of examples in here um, on different kinds of promotions. Um, if, by the way, if you're interested in getting this sheet, um, just click the link um, below this video in the description um, to, to get access to this. Um, and basically you don't have to copy it one-on-one, -on -one, but sometimes it's helpful to look through what other brands um, are doing, maybe in terms of wording. Um, as you see, I kind of struggled <laughs> coming up with a, with a good title. So if you have like some good brands that you can kind of swipe from and, and then adapt a little bit um, your own promotion, it, it, it can be pretty helpful. Um, so here I actually took a look at uh, what, what, a, what brands were doing uh, on Black Friday versus Cyber Monday. Um, and actually most brands that, I, that I've checked, um, so I check a couple of keywords to see what they're doing, uh, a lot of brands offer the same type of deals. Um, going from uh, Black Friday to Cyber Monday. But there were a couple of, of different ones that actually um, are changing up their, their promotions. Um, here, for example, you have Thrive Cosmetics, um, which were offering a free mini mascara, so free gift uh, promotion on orders over $30. Um, and here today, um, in, on Cyber Monday, they're doing a free Bright Balance Cleanser. Um, 100% sure what that is. Um, but so also free gift on orders above $55. Um, um, so again, slightly different um, promotions. Here you can see also an interesting one uh, from Victoria's Secret. Uh, buy one, get one, 50% off. So that, that's, that's a pretty interesting promotion. Um, so personally, I'm a fan of, of promotions uh, that aren't just doing sidewide promotions, but that, that actually um, aim at increasing the, the, the order size and actually allow you to, um, to, to give off some profit from that second promotion. But that's really up to you. You can run like a 50% off sidewide with free shipping um, if that makes sense to your uh, business. Um, here, one last one that I wanted to show you here is the, um, the, the, that certain brands run different promotions on different products. Um, here, for example, um, when I searched for lip gloss, um, Ulta Beauty came up, and uh, so they did ten dollars $10 off on fifty dollar orders. Also, exclusions apply. And then, if when I was searching for skincare, they actually said, okay, a free three piece cosmetic set with thirty dollars peach and lily um, order 
probably also a free gift, right? So free gift on um, $30, uh, on orders over $30. So you can really take this promotion and, and be really detailed or keep it really broad. For example, Glossier, uh, they're a big brand, but they've been running this promotion since, uh, since Friday or Thursday even. Um, so maybe, maybe like a week that they're running the same promotion. Um, yeah. So that, that, that's really up to you. Um, so as I said, um, I've shown you what it looks like, how to set it up. Um, if you're interested in getting this file, uh, click the link below. And if not, I wish you good luck in setting up your merchant promotions. Um, as always, if you've enjoyed this video, uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe uh, and leave a comment with something that you found uh, interesting or remarkable um, in this video. Uh, thanks and see you next time.